If you're spilling that, I will. <laughs> 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 I'm funny kind of bench. Easy, look at that. You get two of them in there. Hey! We're in the back of the van. Well, I'm in the back of the van. Definitely not driving. Definitely not illegal. We are in a studio in London shooting Logbook and Ecom. It is currently nine o'clock and we've got nine hours to go. What is up, you guys? And welcome back. Been a while, shaved my head, new year, new me. I said, fuck it, fuck it, dude, just shave it off. It's like bleached, but still kind of shady, still kind of dark, I don't know. Basically, we are releasing a full clothing collection. Magnus, you've already released a clothing collection. Why are you calling it your first clothing collection? I guess it's because this is like more full, if that makes sense, you know? We've got jackets, hoodies, t-shirts, polos, trousers, cargos. We've even got a ring. We've got a ring now. We've got a belt, we've got socks, jeans. So it's like a full clothing collection. I think in total we've got Twenty one pieces, twenty one or twenty two pieces. I'm calling it a full collection, basically. I've been really fucking stressed. I wouldn't say I've been stressed the last half year, but I've been stressed for a good amount of time the last month. Just kind of trying to get everything together, shooting a lookbook. The collection will drop the thirtieth of June, eight p.m. BST on Running Dakota UK. But without further ado, let's get into it. What? what? So, two of the pieces that I think I'm most excited about. Actually, that's not true. They're, fuck it. We've got a full bandana set, basically. Three different bandana prints. There are like a few running logos in here. I think mean, there's one here. Basically, they're kind of hidden within the bandana print. We had three different bandana prints made with custom running logos. We basically printed large rolls of fabric and then randomly place the print on a jacket, if that makes sense. This does mean that every jacket and every pair of trousers will basically be completely unique, if that makes sense. It'll look fairly similar to this. No jacket will be exactly the same, you know? That makes sense. Yeah, beautiful dark green color. We didn't want to go for like a blue or a red, just because, you know, how do you do it? Seize up. Or the bloods, this is more like green piece, you know? Grove Street, it's got custom running hardware, running on a button, which I think nice little touch. We have got a new Bomb Bomb brand logo. And then in here, we've got a little patch, a little running leather patch. You've got pockets inside, a boxy fit. Beautiful piece. We also have the matching jeans, similar thing to the jacket. No pair will ever be the same. On the side, we've got like pockets. On this side, we've got a little hammer loop. I probably wouldn't wear this as a set, but if you want to do that, then that's fine. I just wouldn't do it myself. Everything is made in Portugal, so the cotton made in Portugal, milled in Portugal, printed in Portugal, sold in London. The next thing we've got, which is also kind of like a set, which I probably still wouldn't wear as a set, but it is kind of like a set. It's basically this very nice off-white slash cream slash stone contrast stitching denim. The same fit as the painted jacket. However, this comes in a beautiful cream colorway with a dark or like forest green contrast stitching basically. So on the front and on the back, it's a pretty simple jacket, boxy fit. For me, this is like everyday jacket, bang it on. Good for summer, good for autumn, good for spring, maybe not winter. Similarly, we have got a pair of matching carpenter trousers. Again, double knee feature on the front, so contrast stitching. On the side, you've got pockets, carpenter pockets with little running logo and brother here. And then on the back, there we go. Beautiful contrast stitch. I'm really excited for these. It's like a different take on just our regular stone trousers. So I thought it'd be nice, add a bit of spice, add a bit of flair, add a bit of, a bit of, I don't know, add a bit of something to your wardrobe. <laughs> 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 
Next up, we have got this pink worker's jacket. So this jacket is made with a hardware zip down the front. Very nice, heavy gunmetal zip. You've got a little chest pocket, side pockets, slightly longer arms, cropped inner body, elongated sleeves, as uh, Sanj would say. It's not that cropped, but then you've got zips back here as well. So you can zip those down, you can leave them open. It is a line jacket, so very luxurious feel. Slips right on, fits like a glove. Ooh, boyfriend material, baby. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Comes in a dusty pink twill. Apart from the fact that I look like the naked mole rat from Kim Possible with my shaved head and whatever, not too bad, not too shabby. Now we style this in a lookbook with a pair oops, of running stone trousers. Now these have been reworked compared to our last ones. And then we've got it in a twill instead of a canvas cotton. If you've had our other trousers in stone or beige, they have like slight shine to them, where this is more matte in a way. Obviously, we've got the running patch on the back now. See if we can get a little close up of that. Ooh, beautiful running stamp, lovely stone trousers. Just a beautiful pair of everyday stone trousers. I should be a salesman, maybe sell houses or like walk door to door and try to sell stuff to people. Come on, come on chief. Wow, fuck me. There we go. Beautiful. Next up, we've got these two beautiful pieces, starting off with this. This is basically a white shirt. And a groundbreaking, a white shirt. Basically, we wanted to create something that was super simple, that you could wear for a collection or your other stuff. You can wear it on holiday, you can wear it wherever you wanna go. So it's a super simple white shirt in a nice lightweight cotton. Got a pocket on the front here, buttons, and then you've got a camp collar. Foxy fit is very simple. It's one of my third pieces because I can wear it with what I'm wearing today and it looks fine. I can dress it up, I can dress it down. And I just liked the idea of like a simple white shirt. Basically, that's it. That's why we made it simple and white. And then to go with, or how we styled in the lookbook, is basically with the same color pink as the jacket, but in a pair of trousers, basically. These have the same cut as the stone ones. I just realized that I picked up a sample pair. It doesn't have a tag on the back. However, it will have a tag. So we'll just Photoshop a tag right here. Ooh, look at that tag. Beautiful. Also, it's got the wrong running logo. But I said, these are samples. I really fucked up this video, didn't I? It's going so well. And then now, I fudged it. It's fine. The color is basically pink. All summer 19, baby. We were in pastel pink, dusty pink, all the pink colors. Yes, sir. Not this again. Come on. Okay, fuck it. So next up, we've got two sets. On this side, we have got a green polo, a pair of black cargos. So starting off with the green polo. You can call this a polo, you can call it a rugby shirt. The correct term would be rugby shirt, just because the placket is slightly different. In essence, it's pretty much like a long sleeve polo. I just love this color. I know you guys are calling me Steve from Blue's Clues, which is fine, I can live with that. Nice saturated green with some cream slash off-white stripes. I mean, this might be a bit dirty. This is basically my day-to-day -day wearer. Now, in the lookbook, we style this with a pair of black cargos. So these are the running black cargos. Pretty straight fit on these. On this side, you've got like a big pocket and a zip down here with a little compartment. I don't know why you'd ever put stuff in that pocket, but it's there if you want it. On the left side, we've got a split pocket. So two pockets, little webbing between here and another stash pocket. Again, I don't know what you would ever put in that pocket, but it's there. Two of these. Then down here, you can basically tighten them. You can go. 
If you want a more tapered fit, I guess. I personally leave mine untapered, but you can taper them if you want to. Water repellent, lightweight, black, banging. The orange polo, which is the one I wore pretty much like half a year ago for fashion week. Like we've been working on these for a long time, kind of perfecting the colors, the stripes and the length. I don't know if we should call these moss green, olive green, dark green, military green, but basically we've got a pair of green cargos. Now these are pretty much identical to the black ones, just in a green color. Same pocket on the side, on that side, same kind of tapering. It's very hard to see in pictures, but these are green, basically. Pictures make them look kind of black in a way, like charcoal, but they are green. This is pretty much my daily go-to wearer. I thought I was gonna wear the black ones more, but I end up wearing the green ones a lot more. Even like today, that's what they look like. Ooh, ooh. The last couple pieces, first of all, we've got a beautiful dusty pink hoodie, same color as the trousers and the jacket. Now this is, can't, I can't say the whole thing is my favorite, but this is definitely up there with some of my favorites. Same sizing as the previous running hoodies. Nice, oversized and baggy. Very light, dusty pink color. It's a pink hoodie that looks fuego. And that's it, basically. I'm not gonna polish the turret, Third, maybe the wrong word to use. Um, pink hoodie, sick quality, sick fit, sick color, fuego. Then we have got a pair of light stonewashed jeans. Wait a second, Magnus, they look pretty slim. And you know what, they are pretty slim. We thought we would do a slim cut. We've got this lovely pair, semi stonewashed jeans. Although I have been a big advocate against slim stuff or skinny stuff, I love them. I've been wearing slim fitting jeans the last half year or so, so I thought it'd be nice to create our own pair. Color is really good in my opinion. They're nice, summery, got a little patch on the back. We've got custom running silver hardware. I'm actually really excited for this, but with a white t-shirt, very simple, everyday wearer basically. And then we've got a sunrise ringer. Basically you've got a red rip on each sleeve and on the neck. I've always loved ringer t-shirts. I think they're really, really sick. And we wanted to have a very simple, semi vintage looking design on it. So just says sunrise and then a tiny text says running here. Love this ringer t-shirt. And I also love the ringer t-shirt I'm wearing today, which is also from running. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Yeah, we've got two ringer t-shirts, one with green contrast ribbing and one with red. And then this one says fresh air on the front. And then this is kind of modeled off a wing of a plane. So this is like your holiday wear. So you've got your sunrise and you've got the plane taking you to the sunrise. You just can't make this shit up. Nah, I love this. Beautiful quality, beautiful fit, nice green contrast. I love it. All right, time to stop. It's time to stop. And last, but definitely not least, we have got accessories. So we've got a belt. This is, again, a sample. I fucked it. Wow, I really fucked this collection review. Jesus Christ. Basically this is a sample. Instead of having two of these here, there'll be one here, then there'll be a stitch, and there'll be one here, and a stitch, and then the running embellishment on the side. This is made in Northampton, made in England. And then we've got the ring, which ooh, it's just beautiful. I think I've scratched mine up a bit. Got a ring. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can see this. Got a ring. We've got a little mountain in the front, another mountain, and then the sun in the back. So this is the horizon ring. This is made from one, one, two, five. No. One, two, five. Do it up, Greece. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, five. Do it up, Greece. 
way too, way too, way too, way too, way too deep. This is made from 925 sterling silver. It is made in London. Got slight indents on the first mountain and then a polish on the one behind and then the sun to give it a bit more texture, a bit more depth. I might actually just get four of them and then put one on each finger. But I feel like it looks cleanest on this finger maybe but I'm just too fat to put it on that finger. So for now it's going on my pinky until I get a bigger size. Handmade in London. We don't have that many of these, but I'm really happy with the design. So, fuego. And then last, we've got two pairs of socks, sunrise socks and the fresh air socks. And then they've got a little running on and eve. These are just small items, a bit of extra stuff basically. In all orders over 200 pounds, we will be throwing in free socks or you can also buy them on their own. Basically. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a day, that was a collection. Everything's done now. Massive shout out to Ruby, my sister, for making a sick set. This shit is beautiful. Without Ruby, I would have to put carpet on furniture, <laughs> which I have no clue how to do. You shout out, shout out Ruby. To come up with your own creative ideas, wouldn't you? Yeah, fuck that. Having said that, the collection will be live the 30th of June. 8 p.m. BST at running.co.uk. So, see you there. Beautiful. There we go. That's basically the whole collection. Now, I'm really, really proud, actually. We've been working this for a very long time. I think we started development on these jackets around December last year. Been going for around six, seven months, which has been a long journey, but I'm really happy with it. I think lookbook turned out sick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna get better at uploading very soon, but I'm going through some shit and it has been very stressful. But thank you for staying patient and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.